Hello! In this tutorial I just want to show how to export your animations out of Photoshop as mp4 files rather than gif files. mp4 files are useful especially if you like to use Instagram because they accept mp4 as opposed to gif files. Also a little tip about Instagram is they accept three seconds as a minimum of footage. So Having said that, let's have a look at this animation. So I've got a 19 frame animation at a 0.1 second frame rate. So at the moment I can presume I've got maybe about two seconds footage if I was to export this at 25 frames per second. If I, so either way, I'm going to be looking at duplicating this timeline here in Photoshop so that I can export my mp4 as three seconds worth of footage. So to do that, I'm going to select frame one, come all the way to frame 19, I'm holding shift down on my keyboard and selecting frame 19. So there's a small glitch in duplicating in Photoshop, at least on our timelines, nowhere else. If I hold down alt, which is my duplicate um, shortcut and I pick up frame 19 and try to drag it to the end of the timeline you'll find that nothing happens. There's a glitch that means we have to come a little bit further in on our animations and we're going to have to hold alt down and pick up a couple of frames in. So there we go. I had 19 frames now I've got 38 frames which is merely a duplicate of those first 19. So it's looping within its own timeline now. I'm going to go back to frame 1 and now we're going to export this out for Instagram. So up to file, down to export and where you're used to or where you may be used to going is say for web legacy for your GIF files we're going to go further down to render video because we are making an mp4 video file. So I'm going to name my file without disrupting the mp4 extension and I don't want spaces between my um, words for my web upload and I'm going to select the folder and make sure it's going to my desktop so we can view it afterwards. Then I want to make sure I'm on Amy, Adobe Media Encoder. I'm going to stick to the format H264 and I want a frame rate of about 25 frames per second. A little tip, if your animation plays back to you incredibly fast, drop the frame rate down, and if it plays back to you incredibly slow, drop the fr uh, bring the frame rate up. So, having said that, I'm going to select Render, and it's exporting my video. Gonna, oops, drop all these down and find light on water, double click. It's going to open up QuickTime. I can see it's four seconds of footage. I'm going to press play. And it is to the speed that I created it. So I would now send this to myself via WeTransfer. Open it up on WeTransfer app on my phone download it to my phone and put it up on Instagram. I hope you found this useful and thank you very much for listening.